In this lesson, we're going to look at graphing and evaluating exponential functions. And let's first look at the definition. An exponential function is a function in this form, where f of x equals b to the x, and b is um, it's a constant that's greater than 0, but not equal to 1, and x is a real number. So here, the variable is in the exponent, and the base is a constant as opposed to other functions that you've seen before, like power functions, uh, f of x equals x squared, uh, where the base is the variable, and the exponent is a constant. And so some examples of exponential functions are, um, one would be f of x equals 2 to the x, um, y equals 0 0.4 to the x plus 1, g of x equals 1 half to the x. These are all considered exponential functions. Uh, this first one, the value of b is greater than 1, and in the last two, the value of b is um, less than 1, but they're all the bases are positive. If we look at these three functions below, these are not exponential functions. f of x equals 2x, um, g of x equals 1 to the x, y equals x to the x, and g of x equals negative 1 to the x. Just looking at the definition, here um, f of x equals 2 times x, you do not have a variable exponent. Um, and g of x equals 1 to the x, you do have a variable exponent, but the base is equal to 1, which uh, does not follow the definition. Uh, y equals x to the x, you do have a variable exponent, but your base is also a variable. And for g to the x equals negative 1 to the x, your base is a negative number. So ne none of these are considered exponential functions. So let's graph an exponential function just by evaluating the expression for some, vari uh, some values, and we'll fill in the table. So for x equals negative 2, we want to graph f of x equals 2 to the x. It's going to be 2 to the negative 2, which is really 1 over 2 squared, which is equal to 1 fourth. If we do 2 to the negative 1, that would be 1 over 2 to the first power equals 1 half. 2 to the 0 equals 1. 2 to the 1 equals 2. 2 to the 2 equals 4. And let's graph this over to the right. 2 to the negative 2, when x equals negative 2, we're at about 1 fourth. At two to um, two to the negative one, we're at about a half. Two to the zero is equal to one. Two to the one is equal to two, and two to the two is equal to four. And you can see here, as x gets larger, um, the function's growing even faster. If we if say we added, um, we wanted to do x equals three, and we had two to the third that's actually 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Um, so at 3, we'd be all the way up here already. And so this grows very quickly as x increases. Now this is a nice smooth curve. It never touches the x-axis. It gets extremely close, but does not touch. And what we actually have here is a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. It's going to get really close, but it's never going to hit it. Um, say we choose some other negative values, like 2 to the negative 3. Well, that's equal to 1 8. 2 to the negative fourth is equal to 116. So as your x gets smaller, um, you're getting closer and closer to zero, but you're never going to actually, you're never going to actually hit it. So before we graph another exponential function, I just want you to see the difference between, you know, a linear function and an exponential function. And so this function right here is y equals 2 to the x that we just graphed. And right next to it, we have a linear y equals 2x. And you can see here, as the, as the x values get larger, the exponential function eventually grows really, really quickly, where a linear function just remains at a constant um, rate. It grows at a constant rate. 